Oh! Why am I? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tommy! 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 Ask me no! Oh, no it's going that. down, lad! Oh, mate, mate! Oh, so. uh, you've been oh no, 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 no! <laughs> Ground and pound! Come on! Shut up, John! Oh! oh. No. That's it! That's it, that's it, that's all she wrote, look at that. Don't look, don't that look, bad, bad karma. That was a bad everything. You don't want to see it. Oh, I'm upset now, that's upset. <laughs> We're going, Tom. We're going. This is it, this is a professional interview. Make sure you turn up, like and subscribe. Oh! Like channel. What, what's the channel called? It, I don't know, Michael Bisping's YouTube. I don't have a weird name. What's Thomas, yours called? Thomas been official. Jeez, some say, wow. Some say, no, right. we've got DC's acknowledgement on this. Right. It's the best MMA content on YouTube. UK based. The no. best UK based Global. MMA content. Global. Right, right, Global. right, well, well. Up and coming right. it is. I mean, some would, Up and coming. Some would dispute that, but regardless, <laughs> I'm here with the one and only Tom Aspinall, interim champ. Yes, hello. Soon, hopefully, one day to be. Say it. Champ. Undisputed. Undisputed. Yeah, yeah, Undisputed. yeah, there you go, yeah, yeah, there yeah, you that's go. Well, that's well. Um, Curtis Blaze this weekend, of course. Uh, how's the staying up late doing, Tom? It's doing all right. It's not, it's not the end of, you know, I think a lot of people put too much oh, emphasis on it. doing my head in. Too much emphasis on it. It's doing my head in. As you know, as you did, more yeah. times than I have. Yep. Fallen across the world, mate, loads of times. Correct. So, and I think, this is my opinion, usually I fight around mid midnight-ish. This time I'm probably gonna fight 4 a.m. 5 a.m. Yeah. Something like that. It's not that different. If you can fight at midnight, well, but you can't fight five hours later, well. Yep. I just think you need a better excuse than that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think you need a better excuse. As a professional athlete, you should be able to adjust. 100%. I see a lot of people, I'm talking about fighters now. Yeah. I know some of the public have had a little whine and a moan, and I, I totally get it. I understand it. We've done it before when I fought here. Ricky Hatton, Costa Zoo. Yeah. That was in the middle of the night. Sometimes, you know, the markets just kind of determine that. But anyway, that aside, I see a lot of fighters bitching about it, and it's like, just get over it. It is what it is. You should be blessed to have this opportunity anyway. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I mean, how happy are you? Would you rather have this fight here? Yeah. On Absolutely. this time or in America on usual here, time? Here, And I was bitching about it for sure at yeah, first. Yeah. But, you know what? I never did I, once. I did, I did. But... I never bitched once. I've got a lot of friends. You, you I just definitely bitched. dealt with it. You, you were, I just dealt with it. I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm a, I'm no, a, a, I do my job. You, everyone knows you bitch. <laughs> everyone knows that. I did my <laughs> job. But I've got friends who get up at 5 a.m. and work 5 a.m. in factory yep, jobs yep. every day. Absolutely. And they hate it. Yep. I've got to do it once. Do you know what I mean? I've got to do it one time. And you get it to live your dream. I love it. Like this is when I first started martial arts, this is what I wanted to do. Fight in Manchester, defending a belt. Mm -hmm. I was there when you did it. And still Yeah. I wanted to be I wanted to be that guy then. And uh, this weekend I'm gonna be that guy, so can't wait. How's training camp been? I mean obviously that's the best easy. training yeah. camp in my life. God yes, it's sake. been amazing. Yeah. No, it's been miserable. It's not very fun. Training camp's not fun if you do it properly. What do you think Curtis Blaze is going to do? He's going to try and punch me in the face really hard. No, but no, but look, I, I know. You've you're being comical, yeah. no, but, you're but, but strategically, yeah. what do you think he's going to try and do? Uh, he's going to keep me guessing on what if he's going to take me down or stand up. So I'm Curtis Blades. Just a way better looking version. No yeah. offence, Curtis. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's going to come. He's a handsome man, though. He's a handsome... He's, he's going to do a lot of this. He's going to be giving it a lot, a lot, a lot of things. Like a, a lot of level changes. And then... He... Are you going to look for the Derek Lewis? Whoa. That one. Yeah, it was a good shot. Great shot, though. Yeah. I, was, I actually fought on the same card. But this is what he's going to do. He'll be doing his up and down stuff. And then he'll be coming this way. Yep. And then he'll be going this way. There. You know, he'll be he's mixing up between the two. That's Which what I was smart. saying. That's a smart move. Because when you first fought, yeah. he was he was backing you up against the fence. He was coming up, and yeah. obviously the fight had only just started. But it looked to me that's what he was trying to do. That's Back you up against the fence, shoot a double leg takedown, get his hands on you, put you on your back. The question I want to know, because yeah. I've never seen you on your back, Tom. Mm. Have you got the goods? What if I submit him? From your back, yeah. Triangle. What if I do an omoplata or something like that? Golga platter. <laughs> you get no, no, no credit for an no. omoplata. That's standard stuff. Right, okay. No, all jokes aside, we've never seen you on your back, yeah. Tom. Yeah. I'm, I'm very, very curious to see that. Yeah. Do you know I have the? Here's a stat for you. Please. The least time on my back in the whole oh, of the USA. Geez. 
He used to be a humble guy. It's a stat, Mike. He you're, used, you're to, a used to be a humble you, guy. You oh, I'm, giving you I, some, I'm using that. I'm giving you some ammo <laughs> for your bloody job. Saturday, and you know Tom Aspinall spent the least amount of time on his back. One second. That's pretty one good. One second, yeah. How do you get someone down for one no, second? No, no, no. I kicked Volk up and I fell yeah. over and then I, I sprung up. Yeah. The only second he spent on his back because he put himself there. Yeah. He chose to go yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but Kurt, all jokes aside, Curtis is a great wrestler. Yeah. I've prepared very hard of getting up off my back, of course. Training for wrestlers, you train for loads. It's fucking miserable. It's horrible. You get a fresh guy on you, you're on your back. And especially heavyweight guys, these guys are massive. I have to work like hell to get off my back. It takes all my mm. energy. I get up. And then I have to restart my back. Yeah, fresh yeah, guy on me. Yeah. It's horrible. It's not fun. When I was getting ready for wrestlers, what I would do, all my sparring sessions would start with me Same. on my back. Same. So I only got to work once I got off my back. Same. And then I could do my thing. All right, this weekend, it is UFC 3 or 4. I'm very excited for this one. The UFC goes back to Manchester with two title fights on the card. And guess what? This video is sponsored by DraftKings Sportsbook. And if you want to get involved with the action, if you want to feel the adrenaline that the fighters are feeling, then all you got to do is download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Use the promo code BISPING. Bet just $5 and you will get $150 in bonus bets instantly. So... Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Make sure to use the promo code BISPING. As I said, bet just $5 and you will receive $150 in bonus bets instantly. And if sports betting is not yet available in your state, then don't worry. You can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy. And DraftKings is offering huge contests this weekend with massive cash prizes up for grabs. So, of course, the interim title on the line. Tom Aspinall taking on Curtis Blades. Leon Edwards once again going up against Bilal Mohammed. This fight card is going to be ridiculous from top to bottom. And as I said, there's no better way to feel that you are part of the action by downloading the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. And be sure, one more time, use the promo code BISPING. Bet $5, receive $150 in bonus bets instantly. Right, obviously you're confident, you believe in yourself, you understand the threat from Curtis yep. Blades. It's going to be an epic night. You're planning on getting the job done. Yeah. You've been asked this a million times, but let's talk about John Jones and this whole situation. Okay. What do you think? What do you, how do you think this is going to play out? I don't think I'm going to fight him. I don't, well, I, I I don't feel think like he's going to fight me. Either. I don't think he's going to fight me. Do you I, know what I think is going to happen? He, well, is he even fighting Stipe? Because I know we've seen it, we've seen the rumours. Where's the signed contract? Where's the announcement? Do you know what I mean? That's not... Is that going to happen? This is a crazy theory. Go on. I think... They'll probably do the Stipe fight. Yeah. Let's just say he wins. No disrespect to Stipe, of course. And then he talks about retiring. Yeah. And he says, I'm done. But I'll only stick around for one more fight. Alex the one that Pereira. really gets me interested. Alex, Alex Pereira. Pereira. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart. I think that Smart might guy. happen. Yeah, he might do. He might, it, that's more, way more likely than John Jones fighting me. Way more likely. Do you think that's because, honestly, he just doesn't want to fight you? Uh, well, he's going to get more money fighting Alex Pereira than he is me, first of all. And it's an easier matchup. I'm not saying he doesn't want to fight me. I'm saying that there's more favourable matchups. You're saying when you look at the bigger picture, yes. it's more beneficial for him right now. If the shoe was on the other foot, I would do the same. Yeah, I don't think you would. Do you not think? I think you'd, you'd, you'd give the rightful contender the shot. I'd I don't like want to, to say so. the word contender. Yeah. That doesn't sound right, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you're yeah, the yeah. rightful guy next in line. Yeah, yeah. and I still hate because people still do it. Like... Oh, he's such a prospect. It's like, no, I was a prospect. You're a prospect. Yeah, I was a prospect like three years ago. Like, that's, that's gone. I'm like, I'm, I'm top of the division now, I think. Well, you are. Yeah. You are. I mean, the, the only person that can dispute that is John, John Jones. Jones. Yeah. Is John Jones. And well, he's not fighting right let's, now. Let's dispute it. Well, let's, let's, well let's, let's you don't have to tell it. me. Let's dispute. That's what I'm trying so to say. So, Saturday night, you get the job done in spectacular Tom Aspinall fashion. Yes. DC comes in. Won't be me, I apologise. Oh, you're not in? It's DC. Oh, right, okay. You know. He's the Joe Rogan, is he? Yeah, I'm devastated. <laughs> I'm absolutely devastated. All jokes aside, I am. DC comes in. What are you going to say on the microphone? Don't give it away, but the general message. It's top secret. It's John Jones. Uh, it's might be. Is it Stipe? Hey, oh, it might be. Is it Alex Pereira? It might be. I don't know. It might. Who knows it is? I don't know. You, you know must what? have thought about what's next yeah, in Yeah, of line. course I have, but I am not the guy to take my eyes off my opponent because... Curtis Blades is a serious guy, very serious. He might not have the hype of a guy like Alex Pereira. He might not have that hype of John Jones. This guy's as good as them guys, and I have to treat him as such. 
We're in July, August, September, October, November. Yeah. Four months. That's when Jones fights. Oh, get me on that card. Please. I'm going to say, yes. you'd want to be on that absolutely, card? Absolutely, absolutely. Defending the interim while Jones... We'll see. Supposedly let's, let's fight see Steve Bates. Let's see if they fight first. Let's see what happens with that, because we don't know. What are you doing after the fight? Eating, drinking, and sleeping. Probably. Have you been very disciplined this camp? Oh, I've been so disciplined. Can you not tell with the tremendous No, no, shape you're looking me? good, Thanks. mate. You're looking really Thanks. good. But what's, like, the, the go-to meal, then, in training camp? Meal? Oh, it's yeah. so boring. What, what no. I eat every day? Steak, oh, vegetables, steak. rice. All that, yeah. Boring yeah. stuff, yeah, yeah. So I'm yeah. going to eat some pizza. Might get a KFC, might get chips and gravy, chips might get all that gravy. fantastic, fantastic stuff, yeah. Cheeky beer? Oh, a few cheeky beers, yeah, 100%. Um, so you spoke to DC? Yeah. Was he all nice to you and two-faced? I, he wasn't too... Uh, no, he, he is, because he, he called me up before you fought no, Sergei Pavlovich. No, he was talking about it. He was talking and he was like, it. why do you think Tom Aspinall's so good? Yeah. I know your friends. I said, mm. I'm not basing that on the fact that we have a good relationship. I'm basing it, it on what I've seen. Yeah. So he was slagging you off. I was just saying that I, I proved you right massively. I made you look fantastic. I'm always <laughs> you doing did. your job for you, aren't I? Oh, thank First you. All the, the, one second the, on his back. <laughs> yeah, one second on his back. <laughs> Lowest yeah. takedown, best takedown defence. Yeah, well, I don't know about that. Oh yeah, I've never been taken down in the UFC yeah, yet. Never been there's, only been. there's only been three attempts, so it's not that good. What madman would try and take you down, Tom? Who were the three? Um, I can't Who remember. were they? I know that Spivak tried. I think he might have been two of them. Right, right. Spivak might have been two. I'm not sure if Alosky tried once or something like that. UFC 70, you were a kid. Yes. In the audience, at the weigh-ins. Yeah. You saw Andre Arlovsky weigh in. Yeah. That inspired you right then and there. Yeah. You thought, I want to do that one day. Now here you are as a UFC champ on this card. What does that mean to you personally? Oh, this is massive. This is absolutely massive for me. Like, um, you know, there's a, lot, there's a lot of people there. They've got a lot of dreams and aspirations in life. Mm. And there's a lot of people work, walking around on this planet and they'll never achieve them and they'll never get close to achieving them. Yeah. I am extremely lucky to say that no matter what happens on Saturday night, if I get knocked out in the first five seconds, where, like obviously I don't want that to happen. No. But I'm literally living my dream on Saturday night, and there's not. I feel very, very grateful to be able to do it. There's nobody here. like me defending a UFC title in Manchester. That is literally my dream. There's nowhere mm. on earth and nothing in the world that I'd rather do than that. It really is like childhood fairy tale it stuff. It no, it is. It is, is. for lads is. like us that grow up yeah. with a passion for fighting. Yeah. No, it, it doesn't get much better, and it's beautiful to hear that, Tom. Yeah, um, all right. Well, the YouTube stuff. Why are you going to slag my channel off? I wasn't. I was just saying you, mine's slightly better. Oh, all. okay. Just okay. slightly. Just slightly. Well, I'd, I'd wrestle you for it, but I don't want to injure you <laughs> before right. the fight. I've already knocked him yeah, out yeah, on the video game. Took enough beating <laughs> from that. I can't, my ego Tom, can't take another blow. You are the man. Thanks, mate. Good luck this weekend. Uh, real quick, on Curtis Blades. Yep. Are you nervous? Yes. you got to be. Of course I am. No, I know. I'm huge. But it's a weird one, isn't it? Oh. I mean... Because you're confident. I'm very confident, but I'm also realistic. Yeah. Things can happen. I remember last time I did this at 2 or 4. Yeah. You know, you're full of confidence, you're speaking yeah. to the media, doing what you're doing now. Yeah. And then on the day, you go back to your room, you try and take a little nap. When you're on your own. And I was led in bed and yeah. I'm led there like that and I couldn't sleep. And all I kept thinking was, well, last time I stepped foot in an octagon with this guy, he yeah, knocked yeah, yeah. me out cold. Yeah. Last time you stepped in, sadly, your knee blew out. carried out there on a stretcher. Yeah. Do, is there any, I don't know, is, is there any like internal... Yes. Deep, always, there nasty always thoughts. Are. There always are, yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But we, we crack on, don't we? We that's move on. That's why we get paid the that's big why, bucks. That's why I get paid the big bucks. And that's why my YouTube channel's better. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and ring the bell. <laughs> awesome. You're the man, Tom. You're the man. Good luck, buddy. So, we all know Mike. UK, UFC. No, I feel a bit bad saying UK, UFC legend. UFC legend. Forget thank the UK. you, thank you. What are you looking at there? What's going on? Why are you looking up there? No, I'm, I'm, just, oh, I'm, right. just, looking, okay. I'm, I'm just thinking, just pondering, I'm pondering. You're pondering I'm just, on that. Yeah, right. okay. that, yeah legend, right. yeah, correct. We all know extra preparations before oh. the fight. What do you do outside the gym? It's not a secret, is it? We love to do, dip the hands in petrol. Oh, without... So, so come in. Do people not believe you? People don't believe you. Oh, my God. We, no, know, that you've been, we know that you've been doing Well, it's because they me. won't go the extra mile. They won't go They the won't make mile. the sacrifices. Yeah. Well, you've never taken your hands and dipped it in a bit of good old-fashioned gas gasoline. Like stone. Some, some... Like stone. What is it? Two-stroke. 
Oh, two <laughs> two, two stroke <laughs> from the moped. Yeah, yeah. That's what I used to do. What do you use? I use two stroke out of the back of the old rusty moped. I four stroke me. Ah, yeah, I'm the, four I'm stroke. I'm the faster one. I'm the faster <laughs> one. Yeah, yeah so, I mean, uh, look, look at these hands. I mean, they're covered in scars and they've been broken a million times. Oh, look at this one. That's a good one, you know. But these things here, petrol, every day. How long do you do? 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Don't I used to do 15. No, no, I used to do 15. That, that's why. No, again. I did 15. Oh, 15. 15. That's why I'm the future heavyweight. Oh, oh, shit, man. That's where I went wrong. <laughs> All you kids at home, I'm telling you, get in that petrol. Get in it well, every day. Since I've seen the new gloves, you see. Have you seen the new gloves? What are your thoughts on the new gloves? Not as much protection. So as soon as really? as soon as I seen them, I thought hands have to be like stone. Because I saw some people having a theory that the new gloves were resulting in less submissions and less knockouts and all the rest of it. I saw Dana talking about it as yeah. well, and uh, then somebody got knocked out really good. Yeah. And then he said, "Oh no, it was Alex Pereira. He yeah. knocked out uh, Yuri or someone." Yeah. They said, "It doesn't matter what Alex wears. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> He's true. knocking him out anyway." Right, gasoline. I've had enough gassing.